guys, Tech Tech Man TV here, and welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk. And this episode has a bunch of news, so let's start off with the news that I find most interesting myself, and this is that a possible iPhone 4G LCD was actually leaked and unboxed by a website. And so who knows if this is actually the next generation iPhone's LCD screen. It looks about 3.7 inches, but who knows if this is real or anything. You can see the unboxing and the link in the sidebar. The next bit of news is actually relating Apple's next big thing, their next revolutionary product. And of course, that's what Steve Jobs supposedly commented about this. This next big thing is supposedly going to be announced on April 7th four days after the iPad launch, so maybe it has something to do with the iPad. Anyways, this next big thing is called Apple iAd. It's the next mobile advertising platform that's supposedly going to be announced by Apple, like I said, on April 7th. And this would actually make sense because back in January, Apple did buy the company Quattro Wireless, which is a mobile ad company. So now we're relating the Apple iPad, which is of course available on Saturday, April 3rd, the Wi-Fi model only, and then the 3G model will be available in late April. There's a bunch of more news that has been released about it, including a bunch of guided tours relating the iPad features were posted on Apple's website, and you can check them all out. There will be a link in the sidebar. These guided tours include Safari, Mail, Photos, Videos, YouTube, iPod, iTunes, iBooks, Keynote, Pages, Numbers, and that's basically it. We did get some additional information about some of these new features and the most important are obviously relating iBooks because that's a big new thing relating the iPad. And the new features we know about the iBook store is that there is now a system-wide dictionary, which we kind of did know before, but it was demoed. There is built-in brightness control. So you can search for words. There's a table of contents slash bookmarks page. There's ratings slash reviews in the window. And there's a get sample option. So relating to the launch of the iPad, the iPad's going to be available at all 221 Apple stores, and it's going to be available at most Best Buy stores. Apple also announced that there's going to be iPad workshops starting on Saturday. So now moving over to some non-iPad news, there was two new things that were actually announced today. Number one, Mac OS X 10.6.3. You can actually download it right now on your Mac. There's a bunch of new features to this, and of course there hasn't been an update in about five months. So I'm just going to read you off some of the key new updates. There's some improved compatibility of QuickTime X. There's some improved compatibility issues with OpenGL based applications. And there's a bunch of other updates. I just don't have time to read you all of them. So I'll put a link where you can read the rest in the sidebar. Now the next bit of information is actually relating iTunes 9.1. MacRumors.com received some exclusive information about iTunes 9.1. Now supposedly iTunes 9.1 is going to be released Saturday, of course, with the iPad launch. And supposedly there's going to be a book section added. It's going to bring enhancements to the Genius Mixes feature. And you're going to be able to have more control over that also. There's going to be some tweaked summary pages. And you're going to automatically be able to convert your songs to a newer format that will save you some memory. Finally, the Google CEO, Eric Schmidt, and the Apple CEO, Steve Jobs, were actually spotted drinking coffee together. And Gizmodo actually got a body language analyst to analyze their body language. And they found out that they were both very nervous and Steve Jobs apparently had his legs crossed and he doesn't do that unless he's like very nervous. He did that when he was being interviewed with Bill Gates. The body analyst also commented on Eric Schmidt's shoulders and she said there's no way to hide it. Schmidt is scared of Steve Jobs. So yeah guys, that is basically it for this episode of Tech Talk. Thanks a lot for watching. There'll be a bunch of links in the sidebar relating the topics I discussed in this video. Also, make sure to comment below on what I talked about in this video. Bye.